to arrive on platform two goes to So this one, so these two platforms will be for the metro, and I think this path here will be for the plaza. So, so I believe this section from here to uh, here will be what chopped off to make way for a, uh, a plaza path. Construction is still under underway, so I believe this end of the platform facing uh, Birong will be uh, extended out a bit further so this will be a terminal for both Sydney trains and Sydney Metro two single platforms almost completed there's point switch over there for crossover if this train is Parts from there, it goes from the right track to the left track onwards to the city. Or this train from Punch Ball stops at here and then oh, I'll focus onwards to the city on the left where it departs from there. So, this station on the Sydney train side will be. Uh, four to eight cars long since the station will be the T6 line from Bankstown to Lickham while City Metro goes from Bankstown onwards to Sydney down to the dive site or dive tunnel 
to Waterloo Central and uh, onwards to uh, Chatswood. There's a lot of major work going on here, especially there. It's so freaking cold, it's like 9 10 degrees in the middle of no way actually almost the end of the July July uh, once the metro opens from Chatsworth to Sydenham on Sunday on Sunday uh, August 4th things will be a lot different after August 4th replacement buses from Bankstown to um, Sydenham they'll bring they'll um, bring back those uh, pink buses for, for those who remember uh, those pink buses that used to run uh, from uh, Epping to uh, Chatswood they'll do the same to the Bankstown line from Bankstown to uh, Sydenham uh, you will stop from there and then stop whatever they are signed to. Bus stops, interchange. I believe it will stay there into this plaza walk path. Freaking cold. Wait, excuse me. Need to clean my nose. There's a old siding here. Just like what? One box car long. It's probably just some parcel sorting. Camera shaking, freezing. It feels like five degrees, but it's actually like eight or nine or ten degrees in the middle of winter. July. So I believe it's July 24th on a Wednesday. I believe the signage will be removed. Yeah, like part of it. Uh, platform screen doors should be out along here. Arranging wiring, panographs. It's already done. Camera's still shaking. Ooh, freaking cold. Earthquake. <sighs> Hugo Mobility. That's a new contract to replace uh, those punch ball bus company routes. Uh, I believe this company. Um, after those contracts for those former punchable bus routes along with the bus dev since so bus dev is no longer operations now I believe there is a light rail that will take their place Freaking cold.
to Lincoln. And these station buildings will remain since it's heritage listed. I think Opal Gates will go from here and there since this is a I would say just a cross path for people who just wants to go from here to there just like Eastwood Station since they know Opal Gates just Opal Radars Unlike Shrap View, since you have to tap on and tap off, but there's an alternative route for Shrap View. You just go around the open gate since there's a really shady path you have to go there. So, this is kind of interesting. There's poles there, just to fence them off since the metro's got to be six cars long unless they extend it to eight if there's more frequent service. While the uh, Western Sydney Metro is three cars long, but the train for the Sydney Metro, no actually Sydney, Western Sydney Airport line will be a different design since this one is a seaman, this one and the one that runs from Talawong to Chatsworth at the moment is Aston model. Patrol trains and stations. 
Please keep a firm hold of your children while on the platform. Okay, one thing I like to point out is the loop. So how does this work? That is the down train departs from there onwards to the loop and then turn back and heads back on that line and onwards to the Sydney or just go to Lickham or Liverpool. And this was data back the 20th of May 2009. Jesus Christ, that's, that's like two decades ago. And one thing very nostalgic is the City Rail logo and the Twitter logo before uh, Elon Musk bought Twitter and it became X. 1983 Damn, that was like 40 something years ago Well actually Yeah, 40 years ago
a non-service. Yeah, it's pretty cool to see these old signage. Bankstown Loop sign, did it back in 2009. And the City Rail sign, did it back in 1983. It's pretty, pretty amazing to see it. City Rail. I really missed that logo. <laughs> yeah, I think Bankstown Line has a lot of old signage. This one, the loop one, the Cedar Rail logo. And I think old, uh, directions at Lakamba. Like train to Bankstown, train to the city. Focus. Signage for the loop, eight cars long. I mean, eight, four to ten, or not four to ten, four to eight cars long. What I. S These sets are meant to be ten or twelve if they make a six and six colors configuration. So this is... Oh, well, actually... Police control trains and stations 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They're gonna... Well, not sure if this is gonna happen, but... They, my theory that they gotta extend the platform all the way at the edge of the pillar here. Just like, I think it's gonna be like, well actually that won't happen since there's a point there. Ooh. That's gotta be really tough. gotta be a what a shuttle line just like T7 Olympic Park to uh, Lickham the regional T6 kind of really just a branch line it's gotta be a lot of thinking to do oh uh, what am I put to say oh yeah uh, Oh, city rail tactile line of order going down there. What's that station we use? Let's wait. Right, we got this old city rail tactile, which is in dark blue most of the station that you guys saw were light baby blue so they just like doing track work removing the old tactile replacing the new tactiles so yeah I believe this one's gonna stay I think oh the metro doesn't have, need uh, tactiles since they'll have those platform screen doors just along the platform it's six cars long the max and I believe from punch bowl to Merrickville they would got to remove all the tactiles along the platform and place them with platform screen doors and uh, gap fillers since the platform's all curved up or curve so this is why they need gap fillers for curved platforms like Dalek Hill 
Marrickville hosting Park. Um, not Wally Park, since Wally Park is just a two single straight platforms. So they just need platform screen doors, and that's it. No gap fillers required for uh, Wally Park Station. Sitting on, on the other hand, they just extended since platform. One and two, just curve platform, and now with the guests rebuild the platform and then extend it out straight. So, I'm gonna use platform one and two as a straight platform when one the metro is just skip. The, the original platform, so yeah. I can't even speak properly because it's just freezing cold. No, eight cars long loop, old city rail with Twitter sign. Very nostalgic and old school. Town, it will open next year due to lockdowns, inflations, cost of living, you name it. The train on platform two goes to Lidcombe. First stop, Yaguna, then Birong, Regents Park, Barala, and Lidcombe. So once the Chatswood to Sydney Metro opens. Bankstown line from Marrickville to Bankstown will close for one year and reopen the year later. So that's just one year closure from Bankstown to Sydney. Bankstown close. Pink busters will place the line while it's close. T69 we still operates the Bankstown line. So T6 Lickham to Bankstown will be Cost long since we need to drop this part of the platform. Please remain behind the yellow line at all times and allow 
well, the other, well, the Liverpool service on the T3 will still run partially from Lickham, Chester, uh, Chester Hill, Birong, Lickham, and onwards to the T2 line, which the Bankstown line used to run in the inner west line. Like Strathfield, Bowood. The T3 used to run the inner west temporarily for track work purpose. So there's gonna be a lot of changes around the, the city rail network. So this is my trains. 